hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go. hey it's the empire geo boxing empire back to boxing now man big big news man josh taylor he gets signed by top rank in espn man now this is a really big deal man josh taylor has been uh, a slept on fighter at the 140 division man but he's unified junior welterweight uh champion down there undefeated and uh you know he's coming up the biggest win of his career with big ass progress man now that being said man signing with top ranks a really big deal and one of the biggest names up there is terrence crawford man he's at 147 and this is a really big deal because there's been talks of Terrence Crawford fighting Errol Spence Jr. And Errol Spence Jr. is a softball, and he has disgusting body shots, just like Josh Taylor, man. I think this is, uh, you know, a lot of times when fighters fight uh, a dangerous fighter, they try to get an opponent to mimic uh, the fighter they're going to fight. Josh Taylor is the closest thing you can get to Errol Spence Jr. in boxing uh, today. You know, he, he's, a, he's a slick softball. He can box an outside. Uh, if you don't believe me, watch the Regas Progress fight. Josh Taylor was boxing Progress on the outside. He he fought when he needed to fight, but he boxed when he needed to box. And he basically pulled like a, it was basically looked like a Mikey Garcia versus Errol Spence fight, man. I thought Josh Taylor completely dominated the fight. And his body shots were definitely uh, one of the deciding factors to get Josh Taylor that win, man. So this is a really big deal. I think Josh Taylor is a phenomenal fighter. I remember when I first heard of the guy, uh, it was him versus um, Ahara Davis. That was a phenomenal fight, man. I thought Davis was going to win that fight. And I just didn't know if just Josh Taylor, Taylor kid could deal with a basically like a left hook artist, you know, uh, while being softball. Because he, he, Josh Taylor is an inside fighter uh, when he wants to be. And, you know, being so close to someone, that'd be easy to get his left hook. But he knows his range really well, you know. It's really rare to have an inside fighter or, or a body puncher who really knows his range. Um as a softball, mostly softballs like to stay on the outside. They're not really trying to get on the inside. They're really hitting you with a straight left or a right hook. But Josh Taylor is a whole other kind of animal, man. And, and, you know, it's rare coming out the U.K. to have a fighter at that level uh, doing what he's doing, you know. You know, there's some things you just don't see when you watch boxing. And when you see a softball fight an inside, fight an inside you know, it, that can live in the inside, it's just rare. You don't really see it too much in boxing. Um Josh Taylor is one of the handful of fighters you can name uh, at the elite level who can fight you in the inside, and that's his bread and butter. You know, he's known for his body shots. So, man, this is really exciting, man. I think they're going to really build this whole Terrence Crawford versus Josh Taylor fight. And now I don't think it's going to happen right away, but I do think this is a, a strong possibility within a few fights uh, for Josh Taylor to fight Terrence Crawford. Um, like I said, uh, Josh Taylor is a unified champion down there. And, you know, he doesn't need too many fights to get all the four titles down there at uh, junior uh, welterweight. So we're going to see how this whole thing plays out, man. I'm really excited. I think Josh Taylor is a phenomenal fighter. Um, the guy the guy is uh, he's still pretty young, man. Josh Taylor is a young fighter and he hasn't really taken any damage yet. So he, he has a bright, bright future ahead of him, man. He has a really bright future ahead of him. He's, he's still in his 20s, you know. So this guy, this kid's not done growing yet. He's 29 to be exact, right? So that being said, this guy, is, he's still getting bigger and bigger. I think within a couple of fights, he'll be a full-fledged uh, welterweight soon. So, you know, it's only a matter of time. And I think he's getting better and better. So we're, we're going to see how his career goes, man. Top rank's a great uh, great promotion if you're European <laughs> or coming out of Britain. They really know how to promote them really well. Uh, so we're, we're going to see how this whole thing works. Um, there's been a whole, like, this buzz about how these Irish fighters right now in America are blowing up, right? Think Conor McGregor, uh, you know, Tyson Fury, you know, things like that. So, so you know, Bob Arum is really tapping into the Irish market. And if you didn't know, um, it's, he's not Irish, but he's Scottish. But it doesn't matter. And the point of the matter is uh, there, this is a big uh, boxing class coming from that region. I'm talking about more of the region than the nation. But yeah, man, so let me know how you guys feel about it, though. I think this is a big deal. Josh Taylor is one of the guys I've been looking out for. And he's just, I, I knew he was going to beat Rodriguez Perguez fight. I didn't really talk about it, but I knew he was going to win that fight. He's just too talented. He's too talented, too skilled, and he's only getting better. You know, um, 
Only thing he needs to work on is his power, really. I mean, he he breaks you down. He can't. He doesn't have one hit knockout power. But if he if he manages to get a little bit stronger and 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 you know, I think he's really fighting down in, on his weight. You know, he's not fighting out his walk around weight. I think 147 it probably is his walk around weight. But when he gets bigger and bigger and he adjusts to the weight class he's at now, he's gonna hit even harder. So man, I'm really excited to see this kid. Really great fighter, Josh Taylor. Man, put him on your map. So his next fight is going to be explosive. He's not going to sign with top rank and fight a bum. He's probably going to fight someone good right off the bat. So let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Josh Taylor uh, signs to top rank. Most likely, he's going to be fighting Terrence Crawford within a couple fights. It's, it's just it's just going to happen. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasic Empire. Peace.